Hello, glorious, raging spillway that leads to B Jizzle and Toby. How the hell are you today? My name is Josh. I haven't been here for a while, last fall actually, but you guys have seen a few videos here. If you've been here a good long while, caught some big walleyes, caught some flatheads, caught some wipeys, fished here with Boo, fished here with Colton, fished here with Tyler, fished here with all sorts of folks. But today, we're gonna give it a shot. Looks like uh, some guy across the way has a rock. Hopefully we don't get a lot of those, but it is one of the snaggiest spillways I've ever fished. Except for things, but wow. Yeah. Alrighty, boys and girls, we, uh, we've we moved on from the uh, Smalley Canal stuff. If you haven't watched that, go watch it if you're into Smalley Canals, because that's exactly, Smalley's in canals, because that's exactly what we did. But I actually did catch one walleye. I let it go. Hopefully it's good juju for this place. And yeah, I think I'm gonna start with an underspin. I'm not really sure. Toby's been doing pretty good uh, here. Shout out to Toby. I'll link his channel down below. I'll link BJ's channel down below. 308 Sportsman, 402 Outdoors. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can catch them. Might keep some walleyes. I just don't like tending to the walleyes, like cleaning them and putting them on ice when I'm on a longer trip. So I'm not sure. I'll probably puss out, release any walleye I catch, but I haven't even caught a walleye, so I'm not even sure why I'm talking about it. Come along with us, see what the hell we can catch. Stuff, things, but yeah. All righty, there she blows. Old hollow belly that I actually super glued on to a uh, six cents divine underspin. It has warmed up today. I'm not sure if we're gonna have to uh, fish till dusk or fish till dark to get something done here today, but I think if we got it, we got it. There's one other spot we can switch to, but we'll try this for at least a while. There is a lot of people here, so we should be able to figure out pretty quick if things are happening. I'm not really sure what the fish, the whale ice, are doing this far out west if they're spawning they probably are spawning i'm not really sure but i'd imagine this looks like a place that could potentially possibly have some males or female walleyes that want to sit here and the only two walleyes that i've caught from here were absolute giants i was going to flip the camera up and look at you but it's kind of a lip out there that you got to try to make sure you can uh, get over and most of the fish are kind of out in the center actually one of the walleyes i caught was actually on an underspin and it was actually pretty close to shore so I don't know. We'll have to vary technique, but for now, we'll probably reel it in faster than we should just to make sure that we don't lose every damn lure we own. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Spring has officially sprung, boys and girls. And unfortunately for me, there hasn't been a lot of springing or sprung in my backyard here. So, uh, yeah, luckily, we got Sunday to help. Sunday offers a customizable lawn care plan that gets sent directly to your door. From filling in patches to starting with a mud pit, Sunday can help you create a lawn that even your grandmammy will brag about at bingo night. The ordering process is fast and easy. Just type in your address, take a quick survey, and they can customize a plan specifically for you. And since my yard is nothing short of an absolute disaster, Sunday recommended the most advanced plan they offer. The easy to apply nutrients hook right up to your spigot via a hose device. No harsh chemicals, zero pesticides, and is formulated with safety in mind. If you would like to try Sunday on your lawn, head on over to getsunday.com forward slash pig patrol to get 20% off a year lawn plan. Or just use discount code pig patrol 20 at checkout. Thank you Sunday for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna get out of this ridiculous outfit, head to the lake, do some fishing. Stuff and things, Bye -bye. You got one? Got something. Toby's the first to strike blood, besides the guy across the way. He struck some blood too. Big walleye. Oh shit. That ain't bad. Nice man. Good work. Well, two walleyes caught in the first five minutes we were here. Really? First one? I might have to downsize a little bit. I'm throwing a, probably a little bit too big of a bait, but. Caught one big walleye in here on this thing before, so I figured I'd start with it. Figured I would start with it and stuff. I've seen a couple flatheads caught this year already too. Oh. No. <gasps> That was right here, close. Thought I was gonna do the same thing. I wasn't paying attention, I was talking about flatheads. Bite, I know. Alright, well, first bite on the baby whale. 
wasn't really paying attention though. Thought it was a rock. It was not. It didn't take too long though. We'll keep chucking her out and see what happens. And stuff. Got one, hammered it right here. I actually hooked that one. Oh, it's grinding on stuff. Don't do that, dickhead. Don't do that. Am I recording? I am recording. It's not bad. That'll work. That will work. Yeah, big one. Bigger than Toby's. Nice. That's like a 20 something. Smoked it. That'll work. Baby whale getting it done. Toby, stay up there. You're bad luck. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a big one. Gnarly. Gnarly. All righty, took a little while. Baby whale, walleye. Number one for me, missed one literally the cast before, but uh, 22, 23, something like that. I just don't, he looks delicious. I just don't want to drag him around forever. <clears throat> and that might be a female, eh? Pretty big. big male. Yeah, big male or a <laughs> small female. Heck yeah, still, still a great fish. Came here for walleye, got a walleye, and we haven't been here too long. Two walleyes, he got one, guy across the way got one, and. Everybody's probably pissed I let it go, but at least a few are going back Yeah, and stuff. All right, let's do that again. That was two bites, two casts in a row, right next to shore. Discount code stash, baby whale, finesse, jig head. Should probably check my line. He had it down pretty good at first. We're good. We are good. Let's do that again about 45 times, I think or at least just once more. That's the smallest walleye I've caught here. <laughs> but that's only number three. Got one right here. Oh, it's a smallie, but still pretty sick. Literally no line out. <laughs> I have never caught a smallie out of here. I mean, obviously the same same lake, but never up here. Ain't bad. Ain't bad. We're going for it. I'll take those every day of the week. Giant. <clears throat> he hopped out of the rocks like a damn green sunfish. <laughs> Except he was bigger and cooler and meaner. A little multi-species action. Down the way, someone caught a crappier white bass, not really sure. Toby got a whale eye. I got a smallie and a whale eye. Guy down the way caught a giant whale eye. I know, you guys hate it when I say whale eye, but I don't know. I say way more dumb shit than whale eye and nobody complains about that, so what's the difference? What is the difference? So far, so good, boys and girls. So far, so good. I love out west. Love it. Not enough to move here, but I love it. You got one already? What the f***, man? <laughs> Toby's buddy came down here and he was like, watch, this dude's gonna catch him fast. He limits out here a lot. And first cast hooked a pretty big one, I think. Legendary. Some people just got the touch, you know, at spots like this. Apparently that dude's got the touch. Got something. Don't know what, but I got something. Kind of fighting weird though. On uh, a blade bait, you never know, but I got something. Channel cat in the asshole. Channel cat in the asshole. 
Yeah. Knew something was up. <laughs> Fat little dude. New species in the butt. Well, not the gamiest thing ever, but it was a tug. And he is pretty. And the tug is my drug. Preferably not with butthole hook sets, but it was still a tug nonetheless. I'm not sure why I just didn't tie another baby whale on, but baby whale is coming back on real soon. Real soon. That one hit it. That one hit it. Blade baits can run into things, but they also catch too. Especially whale eyes when the water's cold. I need a little bit heavier one though. I think this one's a quarter ounce. Cabela's one. I think I got some three eighths in the car. Got one. That one hit it. That one hit it. That one hit it. Oh shit. It's doing weird stuff though. Am I recording? I am recording. Found a good little area here, I think. BJ, I might need your help. I think so. I think it's a whale eye. And I think it's pretty big. Not a bad one. I guess I don't need your help. <laughs> oh. That's all right. That is all right. We got to see him. Yeah. We should probably, I should probably uh, get the net. Yeah. <laughs> what you got on? I tied it on a blade bait. Blade bait? Yeah. Just a little fella? Just a little fella. I have a couple real small ones. I might have to try it. He hit it. give it about eight casts and I'll snag this one too. He hit it close to shore again, just like the last one. Well, that kind of stinks he came off. And I ha literally have a net in my truck, I swear. Which is rare for me, but I'm doing it. This is the best I have ever done here, if you can believe it. And I'm not even doing that good, but the first two times I fished here, I caught one fish each time. They were both 25 to 28 inch walleyes. And the next time I caught one flathead that was tiny and one wipey. I guess this time is just kind of on par with those times. But this sure is fun. Anytime I go to spillways that there's like tons of people, tons of pressure, heavy current, I just suck at them sometimes and this is one of them. So even hooking that one, seeing it, and then losing it, I got a little too ballsy on letting that fall down. But even hooking that walleye, seeing it and losing it is better than most times. Going up, getting the net, getting a bigger blade bait, getting the dang water, and then keeping it going. Keeping it going and stuff. Is it just me or is that water flowing harder? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? got something. I got something. I don't think it's a walleye. All right, we went and got some dinner and I got something. It also seems snagged in something. I'm feeling some rocks, but I got the underspin on again and it only took a few casts. Kind of been slacking off for a little bit, but it's always good on trips to go get some actual food. I mean, we got snacks, we got chips, we got shit like that, but went and got a uh, $3 burger from the local bar joint. That's definitely grinding on a rock or something. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this in. Come on out, bud. Come on out. But yeah, burger from the bar joint, and it was pretty good. Real food and such. 
This is definitely stuck on like somebody else's line or something though. And it's also definitely not a walleye. Whatever it is, it's over 10 pounds and it's stuck in something else too, like somebody's line or a rock. Anyway, food. Now we're back to get some fish and I got it out of whatever it was in. Nope, I didn't. Or it's back in it. I might need a net. Somebody got a net? Someone grab that net. I would think so. <laughs> These two yahoos. One of them's live on damn TikTok. The other one's tying up. And I got a big something or other. I suppose it could be a wiper. There's big wipers in here, but. I got something big, man. Right. I don't know what it is. I think it's a flathead or a paddlefish. It's giant. It's a giant flathead, I think. It is a flathead. It is a flathead. And it ate it. Dude, giant flathead. Giant flathead and it ate it. Flathead on the underspin, man. That's so sick. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Dude, I made two casts. That's sick, man. That's sick, V Jizzle. <laughs> Is that not sick, dude? Eight the oh underspin. My gosh. That's fing gnarly, man. I'm so stoked. I'm glad we took a damn dinner break. I was kind of not happy about the dinner break, but. I was gonna say, I haven't even tied on my jig yet. That's my first flathead of the year. They turned the water on, and holy Look shit, man. First flatty of the year. Dude, <clears throat> you barely had it. Oh my god. Right in the whisker. Good work, man. Dude. Underspin, discount code stash. My first flathead of the year. <laughs> I'll trade you. Uh -oh. It's it's uh it's already recording. That is sick, man. That was a battle. <laughs> that thing was fighting. Barely in the whisker. That was sweet. On the swimming bait. First flathead of the year. Man, I'm so happy. <laughs> Ate the underspin, man. That was cool. I was sitting up there tying, you're like, I might need the net. It's like, I look down, <laughs> your rod just doubled. Dude, sick. Absolutely Gosh, sick. Classic. You glad we ate that cheeseburger? <laughs> I'm glad we had the cheeseburger and a couple beers now. That was, that's pretty cool. Let's get him back. He probably wouldn't be here if the water wasn't on. Now that the water's on, it's closer to dark. Not a giant, but on the damn stash stick on an underspin. Pretty lively flash for this. Oh, here. there he is. What's up, buddy? Go back, buddy. Go back. You chose the wrong direction. <laughs> it's like usually I don't get caught for about a month from now. <laughs> I'm stoked. That was badass. <laughs> work. That was See, badass. We didn't wait that long at the bar. Dude. <laughs> Those extra two beers helped. <laughs> Not the stash stick, don't break it. <laughs> Well, I guess we're gonna fish for a little bit. Pow! And stuff. 